Well, <clears throat> the referee couldn't have seen it. The referee's a fantastic game, actually. That's a marvellous performance, the referee. And he, he, he just didn't see it. Um, and obviously, it, it begs the, the question about technology, obviously. But you have stances that uh, they prefer human um, decision making rather to technology, technology decision making. And until they change, you, there's nothing you can do about it. You have to convince them, uh, no one else. It's not a matter of going around every manager, player in the, the world, and answering his opinion because you'll probably get the same one. They all think, as I do myself, that technology can play a part, it can help referees uh, in a situation. You know, I think that um, if you look at American football, the time they take when debatable decisions or whether it's um, a touchdown or whatever, um, they take maybe three, four minutes to decide on it. And, and of course, that allows a coach uh, in America, American football can last, as you know, five hours, you know, the game. It's a day out. So the, 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 the fans are used to spending a whole day at the, at the ground. Whereas the argument in our country is a winter game, it would take too long to, for the, the referee to go across the monitor, it, blah, blah, blah. But then sometimes you see a goalkeeper takes a minute to take a goal kick, you know, depends on what the score is. And, and, and in actual fact, the, the amount of time normally in a game of football is around about six to five minutes of actually action. So for a referee to walk across the monitor, he can be assisted by his assistant, of course, telling them what he thinks, and giving them that advantage and, uh, and help before he gets to the monitor, but it only take a minute or so. You know, so it's a debatable point. It's never going to be solved unless you have a change of mind, and that's what it lies.